Good evening. This is the special coverage of the coronavirus crisis using the combined forces of TV5 News 5 and Single TV's One News, Radio Cinco, and One PH. Supermarkets are feeling the pinch only two days into the month-long lockdown of the entire Luzon. This has also triggered concerns of uh, supply problem if cargo, uh, if cargo face uh, more delays in the coming days. Stephen Kua, the president of the Philippine Amalgamated Supermarkets Association Incorporated, says that current supplies will not last very long if the trend continues. Bigger players are also feeling the bite, but slower. Che the chairman of the Philippine Retailers Association, Paul Santos, says that while big supermarkets like SM and Robinsons still have sufficient supply, they are fast being depleted. The problem with supply started when people stock up or hoard while uh, cargo are left stuck in checkpoints. Cebu Governor Gwen Garcia earlier held a press conference on the COVID-19 situation in her province. And to give us more details, we have on the line the famous Lorraine Ekarma. Lorraine, what's the latest there in Cebu? So the province of Cebu now has its co first confirmed case of COVID-19. The patient is a 65-year-old male who has been tested last March 11. Results came only this afternoon. However, during an interview with Department of Health, Seven Regional Director Dr. Jaime Bernades. According to him, the patient is now recovering and is up for the second testing and will be discharged as soon as his results turn negative. Um, as for actions being taken by Governor Gwendolyn Garcia earlier, a few hours ago, she held a press conference and she announced immediate actions to be taken by local government units. Among these are the strict implementation of social distancing and public transport. transport, So one meter distance in PUJs and PUV, PUVs must be maintained and only one passenger is allowed for trikes and there will no longer be back rides for motorcycles. She also ordered for um, strict social distancing in internet cafes. Students will not, will not be allowed to enter internet cafes unless they will be using computer units for schoolwork. Local government units have been urged to cancel all social gatherings, including sports activities. The Department of Health, the Philippine National Police, and the military are now in close coordination for the contact tracing of the individuals who have interacted with the COVID-19 patient. According to Garcia, this is because DOH is should no longer be concerned with contact tracing and it should be the work of the intelligence network. Meanwhile, Garcia also urged Iglesia Ne Cristo to follow, other, to follow suit with other religious groups in foregoing religious gatherings and live streaming them instead. Garcia urged ev every Cebuano to stay at home. According to her, if cases arise, if cases continue to increase, the province does not have enough facilities to cater to the pandemic. She is now currently in a meeting with Mandawi Mayor Jonas Cortez, Lapu-Lapu Mayor Ahong Chan, and Cebu City Mayor Edgardo Labella, along with DOH, to come up with stricter, stricter controls on mobility following this first confirmed COVID case. Lorraine, we understand that uh, Cebu uh, suspended domestic sea and air travel earlier, but I'm wondering, within the province itself, is there any kind of boundary restriction or travel restriction between towns and cities? Yes, yes. There are currently no incoming domestic travels in Cebu province. However, um, Cebuano residents, everyone in Cebu are still free to move about from town to town. However, 11 checkpoints have been placed and marked in Cebu City. Mm -hmm. What about uh, commercial uh, activity? For example, malls, are they still open? Uh, what about uh, retail uh, outlets? Uh, you know, anything and everything from merchandise to, uh, to of course, to food and medicines uh, and to any other things? Malls are still very much open. Convenience stores and pharmacies are the exception, actually, of curfews for establishments. However, um, the governor has ordered, even before the confirmation of the first COVID case, for the closure of gyms and 
swimming pools and other recreational centers invo uh, involving communal activities. Okay, and uh, we do not have any curfew yet in Cebu, uh, is that correct? For Cebu province, the, the governor has ordered for a seven-hour curfew. It, it begins at okay. 10 p.m. and um, ends at 5 a.m. And, and how is that going? Is that being implemented strictly and is it being followed by people? Yes, the police are... Um, the po Hello? Yes, yes, go ahead, Lorraine. Uh, we're listening. Currently, the police are um, manning the checkpoints and right now there hasn't been any reports of arrests because of the violations of curfew. It has started... The implementation of the curfew actually started last Sunday, March 16. So it's, it's already going to the third day of the curfew. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, we're, we're just wondering, from, from your observations, uh, do people follow the curfew rules? Uh, for example, by 10 o'clock, are there still, still people out or uh, does, are the streets empty? Even, even hours before the cur curfew, Cebu is experiencing unusual... Uh, uh, unusually light traffic. No, you can rarely see any vehicles in the main streets of Cebu City and the main national roads of the Cebu, of Cebu Province. Okay. Okay. Lorraine, one more question. Uh, there are reports that there, there are many foreigners uh, currently stranded in Cebu International Airport. Uh, is that true? And uh, what's the update there? Um, go in her press conference, the governor didn't mention any detail. We're detail about stranded passengers mm. however there is no prohibition or suspension on outward travel okay okay so people can travel out uh, out of cebu out province of cebu. yes uh, would that only be for international flights or both domestic and uh, foreign flights for domestic and foreign flights yes uh, okay so they can fly out of cebu but uh, they cannot fly back into cebu because yes, the... um, actually for international flights, Cebu is still receiving in incoming international flights apart from those already um, part of the national travel ban. However, they are made to undergo the 14-day quarantine, yes. which hotels have already agreed to be quarantine areas of. Okay, maraming salamat. That was Lorena Karma. Lorena, we hope that uh, Cebu is able to manage uh, very well its uh, COVID-19 situation. Here's a quick rundown of the other COVID-19 stories that we had today. The Energy Department says that the enhanced community quarantine across Luzon resulted in a reduction of power demand. Based on the agency's monitoring, the demand dropped by around 30% compared with the same period last year. This means that most of the economic activities have slowed down. China will donate 100,000 test kits as well as thousands of surgical masks and personal protective equipment, or we call them PPEs, to help the Philippines amid the COVID-19 pandemic. Chinese Ambassador Huang Xilian said on Wednesday that the Chinese embassy has been closely communicating with the health department to ensure a speedy receiving of the donations. And Jollibee Food Corporation pledges 100 million peso wor pesos worth of food products to health workers and on-ground checkpoint personnel. Alliance Global Group, for its part, is donating 1 million li liters of 70% disinfectant ethyl alcohol to the DOH. And that's the latest on the enhanced and expanded community quarantine in Luzon. For more updates, follow News 5, the Philippine Star, and Business World Online. I'm Edlin Gao. We are One News.